praise the Lord to build a generation according to God's will. Greetings to one and all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today, I would like to tell you something important what God needed. I would like to draw your attention to the life of Hannah. God needed a woman of faith who cried out every day and night to receive a Samuel, a prophet, a warrior into the world. There is no doubt that the reason she wept, not because of her husband, she had nothing to eat, she had a nice car or a beautiful home. The reason that she wept because there was a purpose in her yet to be revealed and she, she knew that she was not on earth less than that God called her to do. And many of us know there was a purpose of God in us yet to be manifested that is greater, better, the world has seen never before. If you believe, say Amen, Hallelujah. For this reason, we are weeping and crying for that miracle. And we should not be satisfied until his purpose fulfilled in us. But it will not happen by an accident. God does not call us what we can do in our own strength. He does not put us a place that we do not walk by faith. For everything he calls us to do, we have the heavenly, heavenly place to get the ability to do. We should take his anointing, grace and provisions. He calls us to do the thing beyond our capacity to accomplish his will in us by his grace. It takes faith to receive the doorway of God's will into the planning. It takes faith what God has for us in this world. Dear parents, we need a generation to worship God in truth and spirit. We need a generation to accomplish God's will in us who operates the heavenly authorities. Your investments and money is not enough for them to live in this evil world. Getting admissions in reputed schools and colleges is not enough for them to live in this evil world. For a delivered blessed generation, we need parents of faith who cries and who weeps. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, let us arise and shine for Christ. Do not follow the world. Let us fulfill in his will and let us fulfill in his purpose by his grace. I don't know about you, but I love the Lord. He has done so much for me. I cannot resist the anointing poured upon me, which is higher than every knowledge in this world. It will change the world. The anointing that breaks the yoke, that will raise the dead and heal the sick, that will liberate who in cap captivity. I cannot resist the joy. I cannot resist the voice saying, move on, walk of the waters and never look back. We are living in the days like no other days before. There have never been a day like today. And we are the generation that God nominates to live it. He did not expect to put us here without the answer. He did not expect to put us in this world to live according to our natural desires. He said, you are in the world, but not of the world. You are the light of the earth. You are the salt of the earth. You are the ambassadors of Christ. You are the chosen generation. You are the blessing to this world. And you are the watchmen of the cities. Wherever you are, you are special. You are the anointed one. Do you believe that today... In John chapter 17, verses 18, as says, As you send me into the world, I have also sent them into the world. God sent us to preach his name and to reveal his gospel. In Colossians chapter 1, verses 27 says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. In this hopeless world, there is only one single answer to every question. In Matthew chapter 10, verses 28 says, do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear God shall kill both soul and body in hell. We shall not fear the world and the devil because Jesus is our hope. God Almighty knows who we trust. He is our protector and his plans for us is always good and they always perfect. God is willing to set you free from the damage and sickness that you're suffering from, the depression in the side. God willing to set you free today. And he wants to deliver you today. He wants to heal you today. You're coming to the church day after day and night after night, week after week and say, Lord, I want to be set free. But you say tomorrow. You don't have to wait for tomorrow because God says today. Today. Today is the time. This is the day. You're the person. May God bless you all through this.
Jesus' words. Amen.